Last week, we left off on child's pose. And as we wrap up our discussion on the lower back, I want to discuss a little bit more about child's pose and a few other poses that can impact the lumbar spine. I think child's pose sometimes gets underrated, but I find it to be a very versatile pose. It can lengthen the lats and the lower back, and sometimes I even feel it in my pecs if I'm particularly tight that day. When I practice child's pose, I usually incorporate it into my warm up, maybe along with some cat cow. As we work through a practice and get more and more warmed up, we can add more intention and intensity to child's pose, if we so choose. Instead of just allowing the hands to relax and extend in child's pose, we can press the fingers into the mat, really focusing on lengthening through the spine all the way from the outer edge of the pinky side of the hand. Sometimes when we experience lower back pain, we need to address not just the pelvis, surrounding muscles, and core, but rather the entire spine. When we lead with our head and have forward head position, the entire spine is thrown off. I mention this because if we or someone in our classes has what appears to be forward head position, it may be difficult for them to lengthen their neck out as is typically done in extended child's pose. Modifications may need to be made in various poses. Last week we talked about bridge pose and that comes to mind here because the head jets forward if someone has a lot of forward head position and so that head needs to be supported. Typically we don't want to put someone in further forward head position but we also don't want to just leave them hanging in midair. So communication is key here. Make sure that person is comfortable but don't give them so many blankets or blocks underneath their head that they're kind of rolled forward into a ball. I also think it's important to mention that not everyone with forward head position is going to be elderly or have other conditions such as osteoporosis, but we must be mindful of this type of consideration so we can help our students achieve their yoga practice goals safely.